Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the United States Naval War College graduation. <clears throat> For the Naval War College at the Naval Postgraduate School Program, Spring Quarter Class 2021. I am Professor Walt Wildeman, and I am the Dean of the Naval War College's College of Distance Education, the college under which the Naval War College at NPS program is organized and administered, and I am the MC for today's proceedings. We decided this year to conduct quarterly virtual graduation exercises because we wanted to recognize our NWC at NPS program graduates in a more timely and specific manner during the virtual meeting period of the past year. Therefore, we will recognize the graduates with this virtual ceremony in which everyone is encouraged to use the chat feature and the clapping hand icon to congratulate the graduates throughout the ceremony. As a final introductory administrative item, I have always asked the graduates to let their professors out there at NPS know what they thought about the ceremony as we welcome your suggestions on any way we might improve it for future classes. And while I am really hoping that this event will be the final virtual graduation for our program out in Monterey, I would also ask that you provide your thoughts just in case that is not the case. Thank you. And now please rise actually or virtually for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh, It is now my distinct honor to introduce Rear Admiral Shoshana S. Chatfield, 57th President of the United States Naval War College. Admiral Chatfield. Hello and welcome to our honored and distinguished guests who may be watching today in this virtual format. We want to welcome and thank each and every one of you for joining us. We hope you visit us in Newport soon. To the Naval War College Foundation, their Chief Executive Officer, Mr. George Lang, the Foundation staff and the community-minded Foundation members, thank you for your generosity. Gifts from the foundation have provided critical funding that has enriched and enhanced the programs and initiatives that are offered by this college. Dean Wildeman and Associate Dean Fred Drake, thank you for inviting me and for uh, having me online today. And thanks to all who have had a hand in creating and executing this virtual program. To the provost, Dean and our outstanding faculty and staff of this college, you have set the bar high and equipped our graduates to be today's decision makers and tomorrow's leaders. Today, 
you get to see the fruits of your labor as these graduates rejoin their units as advocates of peace and security across the globe. Thank you for your scholarship, your hard work, and your commitment to our students. To our hardworking military families and friends, your love, support, and patience is what enables these warfighters uh, to have the ability to protect and serve our great nation. Thank you for supporting your service members through it all, especially this year in the pandemic. And thank you for all you have done for this great nation. And now to our graduates of the Naval War College at NPS program. I'd like to take this time to reorganize the incredible amount of effort uh, that you have put forward in order to earn your command and staff diploma and completion of JPME phase one certification. Um, you did read, reading and writing and research. Um, you also had other academic pursuits. It's quite an investment. And so I want to, uh, to recharacterize it for you, uh, not just as attainment of the degree uh, that you've been pursuing and attainment of this JPME phase one certificate, but I'd like you to think about it as an investment. You chose to make it uh, in yourself, your personal and professional development. And that is going to help you succeed in the military and it's also going to help our military succeed in our mission. For the past year, you've been committed to education. It is now your opportunity to leverage the knowledge that you have gotten, go back into a dynamic security environment and create warfighting advantages. You've been provided with a set of newly honed tools sharpened to be able to anticipate and prepare for the future. Your new skill set is capable of preserving this peace and preparing for the possibility of prevailing in conflict. That will take all of those unique ideas that you come up with, your critical thinking, your framing of problems, the planning that you will do in the future that will result in our success together. I wanna to stress that for a moment, our success together, because we know that our tri-service maritime strategy and our Naval service leadership believe that we will have to integrate across our joint force and with our allies and partners. And that is so important and so, uh, so essential to our success together. The United States is a maritime nation. Our security and prosperity will continue to depend on the seas. This world is changing at a rapid pace and there is no time or allowance for us to remain stagnant. Our former Secretary of the Navy, Kenneth Braithwaite, stated that our rules-based international order is once again under assault. We must prepare as a unified naval service to ensure that we are equal to the challenge. Our maritime service chiefs have committed to working together, as they've told us, to build, lead, and advance a rules-based international system through shared commitments with our allies and partners. Graduates, you are being asked to synchronize your capabilities and capacities while building a strong worldwide network of maritime partnerships, united in common purpose and a relentless drive to anticipate, think creatively and lead through change. Your careers as service members have been filled with unpredictability and tumultuous change. This year has been an example of that. It is dynamic reality, and it's not likely to become less dynamic. Our senior leaders see an opportunity for continuous learning as a key strategic enabler. It's the success of our fighting forces, 
It's the success of our interagency partners. And it's the success of our international partners that will depend on this continuous learning and our interoperability. So your investment in your own education is a direct investment into gaining war fighting advantage. Our soldiers, Marines, sailors, airmen, guardians, and Coast Guardsmen comprise this essential component of our war fighting advantage. Each service member brings different and special contributions to our teams. Cultivating a high performing and innovative workforce built on the foundation of diversity, equity, and inclusion starts at the top. And it is carried out by you, our frontline leaders. So I ask you to be conscious and intentional as you set the example, hold the standards high and look toward creating top warfighting performance you're going to need to be able to tap into each person's commitment, their energies and capabilities. And you do this by valuing and integrating individual perspectives, ideas, and contributions. This type of inclusive leadership will cast a new light on the challenges and obstacles that we face. And it will enable the Naval teams that you will uh, that you will participate in to maximize their potential. My charge to you as you head back to operational positions throughout the world is to pack up this experience, the education, the relationships that you've made, pack those into your sea bag. Don't forget about the year or two that you spent in this educational pursuit. Remember it. Remember to think differently as you encounter problems, not the way you used to, but the way you will in the future. Analyze the information, frame the problem, develop and assess solutions, build your winning teams, and when you need to, reach out to the relationships that you've made at your uh, out to your faculty member and to your cohort. Uh, you will find that there is always help available. And I encourage you to reach back to the Naval War College as alumni. This experience that you've just had is only a slice. It's not the full measure of your entire uh, scholarship or continuous learning. You will continue on throughout your career to invest energy in your personal and professional development. Do it for yourself, but also do it for those you lead. Don't sit comfortably thinking that you have got it wired. Continue to investigate, be curious, press to the edge of your knowledge and intersect with others who are also testing the boundary of theirs. Victory is conceived at the margins and those margins are where you need to be. Take the knowledge and experience you've gained. Use it as a new lens through which you will see the challenges you will inevitably face. You are duty bound to take your strengthened intellect, your improved analytical skills, and your expanded perspective and to lead well. You are now members of the United States Naval War College alumni. Our college base dates back 137 years. That's a lot of experience and that's a large community. I encourage you to stay connected, engaged uh, and continue to reach out to us. Please uh, make that commitment to become a lifelong learner and to build on partnerships. I know that with your uh, connection to us, we will continue to expand and grow from that relationship as well. I want to once again, thank all of the families and friends who have participated by viewing uh, this virtual graduation and for the support that you've given to your students throughout the years. You've been a pillar of strength for them. 
I know this year has been uh, inconvenient and uncomfortable, and yet here we are. Uh, your students have succeeded. Uh, they are being awarded their certificates and diplomas. It's a momentous occasion, and you've been such a big part of it. To the graduates, a big BZ, uh, bravo Zulu, congratulations. It's a job well done, and we are so proud of you. Rear Admiral Chatfield, I have the honor to now present the United States Naval War College at Naval Postgraduate School Spring Quarter Class of 2021. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Congress of the United States, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the New England Commission of higher education, I confer upon you the College of Naval Command and Staff Diploma and Joint Professional Military Education Phase One Certification from the United States Naval War College with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto.
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in saluting in the chat room or on the screen, the graduates of the United States Naval War College at Naval Postgraduate School, spring quarter 2021 class and their families and friends. Congratulations, graduates. You should all be so rightfully proud. We now have a special guest who would like to acknowledge and address the graduates and their families. Greetings from the Pentagon. I'm Vice Admiral Jeff Hughes, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfighting Development, better known as OPNAV N7. This new directorate is designed to deliver strategic and operational advantage to our Navy, the Joint Force, and the interagency, in part by further developing professionals like you as we prepare for and navigate the national security challenges of the 21st century. Congratulations on your graduation. You should all be very proud of everything you've achieved, and I hope you're excited and ready to apply and build upon what you've learned during the course of this program. As a fellow graduate of the Naval War College Distance Education Program, I know how hard it is to complete these academics while working full time and balancing all of the other aspects of your life. Thank you for making this effort. You and our collective team will be better and stronger because of it. Over the past year, you've devoted your time and scholarship to think, study, and reflect on your role as warfighters, military officers, and national security professionals. You serve at a consequential time in our history as we are in great power competition. Your operational expertise, critical thinking skills, creativity, and innovation will be put to the test, and your contribution will be necessary to ensure we retain our warfighting and national security advantages. As this chapter of learning comes to an end, let me leave you with a thought. Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, and I'm paraphrasing, every now and then a person's mind is stretched by new ideas and never shrinks back to its former dimension. I hope the Naval War College has indeed stretched your mind and you continue to take the time to read, study, and build on what you've learned. You are now keepers of the intellectual capital that will enable our ability to meet our no-fail national security mission. Again, congratulations on achieving this important milestone in your professional development. I wish you, your families, and those in your support networks all the best in the future and hope to see you in the fleet. And now I would like to introduce Professor Julia Gage, the Naval War College Director of Alumni Programs. Julia. Thank you, Dean. Welcome, newest alumni. Uh, on behalf of our over 50,000 uh, alumni in our uh, alumni continuous learning, lifelong learning uh, uh, program, we know that this is a year that none of us will forget but this is education that you will always remember. And so we are here at the Naval War College and the alumni community to help you as you uh, support your own lifelong learning, your continuous professional development. Uh, the largest resource we have for you is myusnwc.com. There you will find a plethora of resources, videos, uh, lectures of opportunity, um, articles of interest, discussion groups, really robust conversation going on that we really invite you and are asking you for your participation in this larger dialogue with this professional community um, that we all are in. And hopefully you'll find some things to add to that sea bag that, uh, that the Admiral spoke of. And that's my job is to make sure that there are relevant uh, and valuable resources for you. And so again, if I, I would like you to join us on myusnwc.com. And again, on behalf of all of our alumni and myself, welcome to the alumni community. Gra congratulations, graduates, and um, good luck. Thank you, Julia. We in the College of Distance Education are very happy and proud that we were able to add 69 more graduates to that incredible over 50,000 number alumni database. Thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.
best wishes for a nice day and a celebratory late spring weekend ahead. Thank you for attending. Thank um.